नहीं नहीं अभी नहीं अभी करो इंतजार नहीं नहीं अभी नहीं मैं हूँ बेकरार Hey folks, see you again, Rana Day here, and I welcome you all to another interesting lecture, which is about top five strategies to decide when to buy and when to sell stocks, completely based on technical analysis. You might have experienced so many times that you buy a stock, it goes up for some time maybe, and then it starts its downward journey, and then you are like. असा कस काय राईट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राय अँड अंडरस्टँड व्हॉट शुड बी युअर स्ट्रॅटेजी व्हॉट शुड बी युअर फोकस पॉईंट सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड ऑफ द व्हिडिओ लेट स्टार्ट विथ द व्हेरी फर्स्ट टेक्निक विच इज आर कॅन्डल स्टिक चार्ट पॅटर्न दिस इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट चार्ट पॅटर्न अँड बिलीव इट ऑर नॉट व्हॉट एव्हर डेटा आय हॅव बॅक टेस्टेड दिस हॅज गिव्हन अ प्रिटी गुड प्रोबॅबिलिटी वॉट इज अवर प्रोबॅबिलिटी ऑफ विनिंग युअर ट्रेड्स ओके सो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट पॅटर्न इट्स द मॉर्निंग स्टार पॅटर्न द सेकंड पॅटर्न विच आय मोट टॉक अबाउट इन दिस सेक्शन ओनली इज द इव्हनिंग स्टार पॅटर्न नो If you have seen my video which I had already done on morning star and evening star well and good but in that video I had not talked about how to place your stop loss order this is what we are going to cover in this video in detail as well okay so what's a morning star step number 1 there has to be a downfall okay step number 2 you have to see that three candlestick pattern that magical candlestick pattern the very first one has to be a big red candle followed by a doji and followed by a big green candle okay so when should you enter our our videos completely focused on this today when should you enter when should you exit okay when should you enter possibility number 1 some people feel that they should enter the moment when the third candle the green candle engulfs the first big red candle possibility number 1 possibility number 2 some traders are like we are we want to play safe okay and they will wait till the third candle completely engulfs and closes above the first red candle okay so they want to be sure they say even if i enter at a little bit high price we are okay with that okay if your trade goes well then ideally you should see a very nice upward trend post the morning star pattern but if your trade goes against your expectation big question is where do you place your stop loss stop loss has to be placed at the lowest point the lowest point is the wick of what the second candle which is generally a doji candle I hope you have understood this okay we are going to see the same pattern in a practical example in the immediate next part of the video let me quickly tell you what is an evening star pattern now first first condition is what yeah, there has to be an up trend okay post the up trend you should again see that three magic candlestick pattern what is a three magic candlestick pattern the very first one is a big green candle followed by a doji candle and then followed by a big red candle ideally when can you enter again two possibilities possibility number 1 the third candle engulfs the first one or possibility number 2 let the third candle fully form okay let it close let it close well below the first one and then we will enter the trade okay if things go well ideally that's a classic way when you can short the position okay that's a short sale and if your trade goes wrong then where is your stop loss stop loss has to be placed at the highest point of the second candle I hope you have understood this absolutely nicely when to enter when to exit in case of morning star and evening star two important points number 1 i'm going to talk about this practical application in the immediate next part of the video and number 2 if you are interested to read more about these pat- patterns these are known as typical bullish reversal patterns or bearish reversal patterns i've also written a separate blog on that so if you want you can refer this blog on rachnaranade.com Well now let's understand an amazing practical application of the morning star and the evening star pattern. This is the chart of Aisher Motors okay it's a daily chart. Here you can see how does the morning star uh, candle formation happens okay. So here you can see step number 1 is what a downfall. You can see a big downfall. And you know when the downfall starts a normal person is like abhi enter karenge. Now I will enter. Now I will enter. And then ideally your subconscious mind should sing that song nahi nahi abhi nahi okay and when should you ideally buy is when this morning star candlestick entire pattern can be seen okay so which two types i already told you third engulfing the first or after the third is complete okay and here you can see how beautifully the stock has moved up 
after the morning star pattern right which was the second one second one was the evening star pattern and in the same stock you could see an evening star pattern right up on the top and you can see that it was such an amazing run up for the stock you saw those three magic candlestick patterns okay one two three and after this was completed after this was formed and then dhadam it started its downward journey i hope you have understood how the practical application should work for a morning star as well as an evening star well the next one through which you can understand when to enter and when to exit a stock is the head and shoulder pattern understood shoulder head shoulder simple enter and stop loss nahi kala chota kar mala okay right so let's try and understand this practically now okay now what is happening this is a chart of maruti now you can see here this is nothing but the left shoulder okay then you can see a big head okay and followed by a right shoulder now can you visualize this with my shoulders and the head right so you can see that left and right shoulders are almost similar in height and head has a higher high okay now what happens is that uh, you can now try and draw a visual line joining these three points and this is called as a neck line okay now once the neck line is broken on a downward side ideally this starts the bearish trend of the stock can i enter at this point when the neck line is broken answer is yes this is where ideally you should enter the stock okay this this is going to be a short side okay so this can be done in futures not in intraday okay so you can short the stock when the neck line is broken what can be your target now target if you were to calculate it precisely it's calculated something like this you have to first try and calculate the distance between the neck line and the top of the head and whatever is this distance place it from this point to this point okay so same distance is going to be achieved the same target is going to be achieved below the neck line and if you can see here this target was also achieved very recently on 3rd may 2021 okay this is how a head and shoulder pattern looks like now if i oh cha by the way If you see here what happened the stock started going down but then it reversed from here now should i have booked my loss here what could be a stop loss stop loss is generally at the shoulder point okay so in our example here somewhere here around 7700 ish you can say this could have been your stop loss i hope you have understood this now moving ahead to the inverted head and shoulder pattern now what happens in an inverted head and shoulder shirshasan okay now what will happen shoulder head shoulder okay now which is your neck line again these three points can be joined and this is where the neck line can be drawn this is which type of fat pattern this is where your bullishness is going to be seen now okay what when should i enter is the first one the moment this neck line is broken ideally here this is where you should enter okay what could be the price target price target you should be calculating it in this way this is the distance between what and what between the neck line and the head this distance you should add it up here and this is where the price target is and here you can see this target was achieved on 14th december it's an old one 2012 it's a, it's is the chart of tata motors okay now what could have been my stop loss where well, stop loss ke aas paas bhi nahi aaya it has not even gone near the stop loss but your stop loss could have been this point of your right shoulder i hope you have understood when to enter when the neck line is broken when to exit ideally at the target price achievement or if the stop loss is it when is the target price achieved that distance you have to count from what to what from neck line to the head and what is your stop loss stop loss is that point where your right shoulder ka point is made i hope both are absolutely clear well let's move on with the third indicator which is the pivot point indicator because there are so many people who have already enrolled for my technical analysis course and they are like ma'am you have taught fibonacci very nicely in fact i also have a separate video on that on youtube as well but i have not talked about pivot points and please tell us how to draw that how to decide when to buy when to sell based on pivot point is what i have not talked in the course i thought i should be telling it right here so i want everyone to focus for next 2 to 3 minutes because i'm going to tell you how to first apply that pivot point on the normal trading view chart okay so first what do i do i go to this one fx function wala thing and then i search pivot point 
standard okay i click that once i click that okay now i go to the settings wheel right here okay when i go to the setting wheels in type drop it down and select fibonacci okay and then click okay once this is done your uh, levels will be set up as per the fibonacci but pivot wala fibonacci okay now if you ask me one single liner on what do we mean by pivot imagine a clock okay now in a clock what is the center point where all the uh, hands of the clock are actually linked with okay so that is nothing but the pivot point okay so now you can imagine that center point if if for that clock if that is taken away then of course the hands of the clock will will i mean just die out right so that is how important a pivot is that's like a make or a break level okay so if i come down back to the candlestick pattern this is the latest candlestick chart of maruti i hope you have understood this how did i draw the pivot it was simple fx go to pivot point uh, put it on the chart and then select fibonacci what do you see here p p means what pivot R one is what resistance one. R two resistance two. R three resistance three. Similarly, on the lower side, you can see S one, S two, S three will stand for what support one, support two, support three. Question is when to enter as per this pivot point strategy. It is said that if you can see uh, the pivot being strongly held, okay, or you can see a very big bullish pattern on the pivot itself, breaking the pivot from the bottom, you may enter. that specific stock okay now what can we see here in maruti has it broken with good volumes or something like that by the way this is the volume no not very amazing volume seen but it has respected the pivot level okay so i should be keeping a watch on that if you see the next day next day you can see a big green candle okay and this is also supported with good volumes you can see here pivot ke to it's it's well above the pivot point plus you can see that this r1 level resistance one has also been taken out okay so ideally after your pivot is strongly taken out i remember i was seeing this chart uh, day before yesterday when uh, of course this video will be released at a later date but when i was seeing this chart i remember in the first one and half hour itself the volume had surpassed the previous entire day's volume so that shows how big strength is seen in that stock okay so you can see that big green candle being formed that is where during the day one could have taken a trade R1 broken, but you can see that at R2 it took a resistance and came down a little bit. What happened today? As I'm shooting the video, which is on 23rd of June, you can see that the stock has also broken the R2 and now it is going towards R3. Okay. Now, if someone would have already been long, a person may have taken partial profits here because ideally R2. generally acts as a strong resistance but what happens here you can see that the volumes are also very high even today so there's a great chance that it might test r3 tomorrow okay but is this the only way just say the pivot take the position can you do that no answer is no absolutely not you have to check out macd you have to check out rsi you have to check out volumes and then based on the big combination of all these things you have to decide whether to buy or whether to sell whether to enter whether to exit all these things macd rsi bollinger band everything i have taken up in my basics of technical analysis course so if you are interested you can surely go out and check on my website rachnaranade.com so let's move on with our next parameter which is rsi relative strength index now what does this indicator tell us strength strength at which the stock can go in the upward direction okay it shows the momentum of that stock okay so possibility number 1 i'll say that the stock will go up possibility number 1 possibility number 2 i'll say that the stock will go up but with good strength with good speed and if i want to know the second one strength speed that is indicated by rsi okay now how to put it in trading view you have to just click that fx and then hit rsi that is relative strength index okay so generally what are the inbuilt parameters inbuilt par parameters are 70 30 what i always put up is the 60 40 parameter okay so i'm just taking it down to 60 40 and then i press okay right now please don't ask me what is uh, more in detail about rsi what is this 60 what is this 40 okay everything i have explained again in detail in my technical analysis course what is the focus point of today's lecture when to enter when to exit okay now you just try to back test this okay i am giving you an example of asian paints this is somewhere around december 
अराउंड डिसम्बर इट हैज ब्रोकन द सिक्सटी का आर एस आई ओके यू कैन सी सिक्सटी आर एस आई इज ब्रोकन ऑन द अपवर्ड साइड फ्रॉम बिलो ओके नो वंस इट हैज ब्रोकन दिस इज आइडियली वेर वन मे एंटर अ स्टॉक अगेन सेम थिंग जस्ट बिकॉज आर एस आई क्रॉस सिक्सटी आर यू गोन टू एंटर आंसर इज नो दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंडिकेटर्स करेक्ट सो आर एस आई ब्रोकन सिक्सटी फ्रॉम बिलो दैट्स वेर आइडियली वन कैन कंसिडर एंटरिंग एंड नाउ सी दिस आई एम जस्ट पुटिंग this as a vertical bar okay just for those who want to learn about this alt v is the shortcut for this automatically a vertical bar is drawn so this is where the 60 level was crossed it's going up 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 till here here first time you can see that it has started its downward journey so again i'm pressing alt v here okay now this was the big red candle but what happened before that so i'll just come one candle before this okay this is the candle Now see how much is the RSI at this candle. RSI at this candle is eighty point eight seven. Okay, so it is said that above sixty, the stock starts showing strength. But once it reaches eighty, now it is tired. Okay, now see, bichara, it has gone up so much. It will be tired now. At some point of time, it has to go down, right? I want you all to tell me in the comment section. Can you see some candlestick pattern which we have discussed in today's lecture only? And you can see how beautifully that has been honored. And the stock starts going down. And immediately after it has gone down, again you can see that magic candlestick pattern again there. And there from there also you can see the stock going up. Okay, comment section may you have to tell me. Okay, so what is the discussion right here right now? Number one, last time I am revising it for you. Once it crosses sixty, it is ideally a green signal to buy. Once it is at eighty. it's a warning signal stock is tired you may exit your position and one last time is this the only indicator answer is no okay i hope you have understood very well how to use rsi to decide when to enter and when to exit well let's move on with our last strategy for the day you might be like ma'am every time you are telling this that don't use this as a stand alone strategy combine it with something at least tell us one combined strategy chalo theek hai I'm going to tell you this combined strategy wherein I'm going to check three parameters. Which three parameters? Number one, pivot. Number two, RSI, and number three, volume. Okay. How can I use these three in combination to decide when to buy, when to sell? Okay. For buying, let me tell you. Ideally, what would I check? Number one, RSI should have crossed sixty. Number two, volume should be highest in the last. five trading sessions okay that's how i do it and number 3 is that i would check whether that candle has very clearly given a breakout above pivot point and it is somewhere between that pivot to r1 okay so let's see if i can see the, all these three conditions being met in one of my favorite stocks which i have told so many times which is jubilant food works so let's see what happens in this stock um we are somewhere around this is of course a uh, kind of an old data this is 4th of august 2020 okay now i'm trying to zoom this in okay now which is this point this is the point when 60 has been hit okay so again i'm just drawing alt v here vertical line this is where the 60 ka point has been crossed okay now if you see here just one day before pivot has been honored okay and the stock tried to go up but did not close at r1 it came down again okay so it was not about it was not able to go it was not able to close above r1 what happened on the next day next day the the stock itself has opened up as a gap up and it has shown a very nice positive journey throughout the day and it has almost closed at the highest point almost right now let's see what has happened with the volume candle now you can see that this is the volume candle and it is way above all these previous candles generally as check only last five candles this is like last what 15 20 candles whatever i can see on the screen unme se out of those this candle is the highest okay so three all three criteria met number one criteria is what RSI went above sixty. Number two, it is going strong. It has already gone above P P one, and it is al already testing R one. And number three, volumes are very high. Okay, now ideally, if you remember, I told you R two can be a caution point. Okay, so immediate next day was a caution point for me. But now I'm going to combine it with what volumes? R A volumes are also going very strong on day two. Okay, also you can see that RSI is still above sixty. So what's the fear? Let me continue. Okay, let me enjoy the ride. 
till what is the question okay you remember i said that the stock will go up and up and up and up but it will be tired at some point in time what is that some point in time when rsi is about to touch 80 so if you see here at this very point it has touched 80 okay i'm drawing a horizontal line this is the 80 ka line okay and which one is this day again let me put a vertical line okay wow so many lines i'm drawing anyway so this vertical line you can see this was the highest point again 7% move in a single day okay ideally this is where we should stop okay because from here if you can see aage jaake the stock is slowly and steadily the rsi is going below the 80 level and eventually it has gone even below 60 level okay does this mean that the stock compulsory must show downward journey no can you miss out on the probable profit answer is yes shall i show you what happened wait tadan 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 the downward journey did not start and this is what was the highest point after which a downfall started okay so please understand with technical analysis are you going to get all trades correct no but is your probability of winning going to increase answer is Yes, I hope you have understood how the combination of RSI, volume, and pivot can be used together to gain more confidence while entering or exiting a specific position. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have also understood when to buy. when to sell based on various things today we talked about so many parameters we talked about so many things morning star evening star rsi da 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 so many points i hope you have understood that and i have told you so many times in the video but again i am going to tell you that if you want you may consider enrolling for my course on technical analysis in which you will understand all these parameters plus many more in a very detailed and systematic manner if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to share it with your friends family members till then take care Jai Hind and bye bye